ATF planned to open its own power plant this week, but for the second time in a row, it didn't happen. If you're graduating this semester, today is the last day for you to order your cap and gown. You can get all of your graduation essentials online at the Herc Jones website. If you still need to place your order, we have a link to the page on our website, nightlynews.ucf.edu. Thanks, Amanda. And speaking of tuition, that's an issue both SGA presidential candidates are talking about. Nightly News is your number one source for the SGA presidential election. As you guys heard, everyone is just ready for finals to be over. They've been studying for too long, and they just want finals to be over and start their summer break. And some of them, like you heard, they're going either traveling. I'm trying to squeeze in some traveling myself. They're taking summer classes. They're saving up money for school, but everyone just wants you know, classes to end already. Even though aggressive driving is dangerous on highways, UCF students say that police should also focus on roads like Alfea and University because here it's where they're seeing problems every single day. Texting and driving isn't only dangerous, but it could cost you. We'll tell you what UCF students are saying about the potential new fine. And it looks like the new security measures at the UCF Recreation and Wellness Center have helped crack down a crime. Ladies, it is very muggy outside and this is because it's been a very dry week. But ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to finally have some rain in the afternoon and later at night. But let's take a look at our current conditions. And I hope everyone's having a lovely Friday afternoon. But I also hope that you didn't forget your umbrella or a raincoat because Meteorologists are saying that it's going to be a very wet afternoon and the next couple of days. But first, let's take a look at our state temperatures because it seems like it's a little warm all over the state. Right here in Orlando, we're feeling 78 degrees and Tampa 77 degrees. See the system right here. This is going to be pushing through this weekend. Now, it's not technically hitting Florida directly, but this is going to be bringing some scattered showers on the weekend. And I know it's a busy weekend. On Sunday, we have NBA All-Stars and the Daytona 500. So let's take a look at our five day forecast so you can see if this is going to affect your weekend plans. Knights baseball team is on a hot streak this past weekend. The Knights swept the Houston Cougars in a three game series and ended with a three to one victory on Sunday. Katie, there is no doubt this case has gotten a lot of attention nationwide. This Monday, there were two protests here in Central Florida. One of them even forced the Sanford Police Department to shut down for most of the day. What's interesting is that a lot of students are the ones that are taking action. Up to this week, hundreds of protests and rallies were organized nationwide, asking for justice in Trayvon Martin's death. On Monday, a protest organized by Valencia Community College students reflected their concerns on the way this case was being handled. Justice should have been served right there. If he killed that man, he should have went through the process. Everyone would have gone If I would have maybe shot someone, I probably would have been in jail today. George Zimmerman charged with Martin's death is using the stand your ground law. Now this law would protect you if you use deadly force, if there was a threat of bodily harm to you or someone with you, but you must prove that you were the one being attacked. Students here at UC have also expressed concerns on the stand your ground law and said this law isn't right. He shouldn't have gotten arrested, but I think that law is wrong. And I think this case really brought light to the fact that that law is wrong. It's just sad that the stand your ground law lets him get away with it and by the evidence that is out there he actually could be protected under the under the Florida law. When we spoke to students most of them think it's just not right for anybody to have the right to kill in self-defense. Back to you Lauren. UCF psychology major Sarah Wooten was surprised to know how easily she became an aggressive driver. I felt at times I could be a little less aggressive. Um, some things were frustrating, that's for sure. She took part in this driving simulator that helps UCF professor Mustafa Malua figure out why some students drive aggressively. Dr. Malua says things such as not eating can cause this dangerous behavior. Other factors such as stress, sleep deprivation, uh, alcohol can also, you know, make this effect very pronounced. The Florida Highway Patrol launched a campaign against aggressive driving focusing on highways. Sergeant Kim Montez says the biggest problem seems to be between car and truck drivers causing accidents. And it's just a reminder that we need to share the road. You don't own the space. 
that belongs underneath your car. Even though aggressive driving is dangerous on highways, UCF students say that police should also focus on roads like Alfea and University because here it's what they're seeing problems every single day. Like it, it gets bad. Like we're late to class. I try to leave campus before traffic comes just so I can avoid that. As for Sarah, she says being aware of her aggressive driving will remind her to be much calmer on the road. That means that I need to slow my roll. In Orlando, Paula Machado, UCF Nightly News.